Anger can do amazing things in certain circumstances, but it can also do terrible things. Anyways, we are going to be taking the next few minutes and study anger so we can add it into our animations better than ever before. Hey everybody, I'm Justin Lupica from BlenderAnimationTutorials.com and this tutorial is all about understanding angry facial expressions. This tutorial is very important and exciting because you absolutely need to understand something in order to recreate it. Understanding how and why something works the way it does is always the first step to animating. And in this case, we are going to be studying the emotion anger. Anger is a huge emotion, one we all have, whether we want to admit it or not. So it's oftentimes important and handy to have the skill in your arsenal for when it comes time to animate a character. Facial expressions are one of the most important things to understand because looking at someone's face is how we sympathize with someone and how we know what they are feeling. By the time I'm done with you here, you'll be able to add much more emotion to your characters and really bring them to life. All CG artists know that you should be aiming at adding emotion to your renders. That's what gets it to stick in the viewer's head. And it's the difference between a cool, okay, whatever, next, and a wow, that is incredible animation. Now to make sure you don't forget what you will learn today, head on over to blenderanimationtutorials.com forward slash anger to download the emotion series anger PDF which lays out specific details on everything we talk about today. It's completely free and you can keep it at your disposal for future reference. You can also download this tutorial in its entirety as well as the starter and final .blend files. To get all of this for free, head on over to blenderanimationtutorials.com forward slash anger right now. So listen up, your animation career depends on evoking emotion into your viewers. So without further ado, understanding angry faces in five minutes or less. Let's get going. First, let's go over a little background info. It's said that humans have evolved a universal angry face, one that everyone around the world can recognize. This happens throughout nature to deter others and to make them back down from your aggression, and supposedly it has helped people resolve problems faster. Okay, so maybe they don't have the best problem-solving skills or relationships with other people, but hey, I didn't make this up. It's said that there are six facial groups that are involved in making someone look angry. When these groups contract and shape the face in such a way, it makes someone look much more intimidating and fearful than someone without it. It's also said that even blind children can make the same face without ever seeing it. So let's go over what the six common characteristics of what the angry face is exactly. One, lowered brow. Two, raised cheekbones. Three, thinned and pushed out lips. Four, mouth raised. Five, nose flared. Six, chin pushed up and out. The most important out of all of these, and perhaps the most obvious, is the lowered brow. This is a big part of making yourself seem like you're about to open up a can of whoop Now, you don't necessarily need all six in order to make an angry face. You can mix and match certain ones to use in certain situations, like if your character is yelling or in a fighting stance. And once you get really good at this, you can start introducing exaggeration to your character's facial expressions. That's when your animation really starts to get interesting to watch. Also, this tutorial will just cover the facial expressions, but if you were doing a whole character, you would want to include things like making him stand up taller, puffing on his chest, muscles tense, etc. But for now, let's recap on what those six all-important muscle groups are that make up the angry face. Lowered brow, raised cheekbones, thin pushed out lips, mouth raised, nose flared, chin pushed up and out. Now this isn't to say that if you were to just do all six of these in Blender and call it an angry face, it would look perfect. Because no, they, I mean, there comes things such as style and flair and the own animator's personality that's going to come out and send these things and such as we mentioned before, exaggeration whether you're going for realistic or cartoon, you know, it just depends on the style of your animation. So you don't necessarily need all six of these in order to make an angry face. Okay, so now that you know what it takes to make an angry face, I want to see all you guys making good use of this knowledge. I want all of you to join the Blender Animation Facebook group. Link is in the description below, and I want you to post about your angry characters. I watch all the animations and respond to everything. I want you guys to join the community. Let's have some fun. Today's video is actually quite special because it is a test tutorial coming from the Blender Animation Pilot Course. So I'm really super interested in hearing what you have to say about it. And please, please, please drop a comment below saying what you did and did not like about this tutorial. Did you like the speed of the video, the length, what about formatting and style, etc. If you wouldn't mind taking an extra 30 seconds to fill out the pilot course survey as well, that would help me out heaps. 
I want to hear from my audience on what your guys' problems are in animation. I want to hear what you guys are struggling with so that way I can maximize myself in the ways that I help out the Blender animation community. Your guys' answers to these questions will determine what content I create for the pilot course. My goal here is to help you solve your problems and help you level up your animations. Thank you so much everyone, I truly appreciate it. Also, if you want to download this tutorial along with the starter file, custom reference images, and a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to create angry faces within Blender, then go to this post on BlenderAnimationTutorials.com and click on the download this tutorial button above the video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Also keep in mind that if you like this tutorial and found it helpful, you can give back to me to help me create bigger and better tutorials. While I'm releasing everything for free, I also have a pay what you want option. So anyone can download the goodies for any amount that they feel comfortable with, including for free. Click on the download this tutorial button and enter in any amount that you feel you can afford to give back. Keep in mind that I'm not a huge corporation or anything, just an animator with hardly any spare time to share his passion. Thank you so much in advance, and thank you so much for watching.